or welcome to this little video on the extended trot showing you some of the technical aspects. I'll first read from the FBI manifest what the extended trot should be. The horse covers as much ground as possible. Without hurrying, the steps are lengthening to the utmost as a result of great impulsion from the hindquarters. The athlete allows the horse to lengthen the frame and to gain ground whilst controlling the fall. The forefeet should touch the ground on the spot towards which they are pointing. The movement of the fore and hind legs should be equally forward and in the moment of extension. The whole movement should be well balanced and the transition to collect and trot should be smoothly executed by taking wa more weight on the hindquarters. A lot of talk, but it really explains how a good extended trot should look like. Then when we look at this horse, we can see he shows a bunch of those uh, uh, mentioned aspects, lengthening, coming back, uh, especially when you see that in slow motion. Then we go to a picture of a horse showing an extended trot. Look at the front end and the hind end. The front leg, left front, and the right hind, they have the red dots, and they show that those legs are perfectly parallel when you look at the cannon bones. And also, the right front and the left hind do have those parallel lines. And they really show you that there is equality in how they, they move. Look at this horse where we have the red lines in that. You see the same thing. Clearly parallel uh, uh, angles of the left front and the right hind. And this picture of Dr. Klimke, Alary, uh, one of our famous uh, horses from the past, shows that perfect uh, alignment of those hind and front legs. It also shows that this horse really has an uphill frame. It looks like he's running uphill more or less. When we look at this horse, you can even see that the hind leg is more active than the front. And that, that line goes more forward than the front leg. Uh, and this is the opposite, where we see that the hind leg is not coming through and the front leg is really overstretching. Also, this leg would not land where it should point in at. Let's look at this horse and give it a mark. When we look at those alignments, I think we can all agree that they are quite parallel. So, and it's quite an extension. Uh, I would maybe even give this a 7 or even go close to an 8. When we look at this horse, you can see that the neck is a little bit short. That's behind the vertical. Uh, it still has those parallel lines, but the extended trot is clearly not as extravagant. And I would give this a 6 or a 7, so a 6.5. When we look at this horse, you can see nice angle uh, between the legs again, quite a big trot, uh, and the head up in the right position. So this would be easily an uh, 8. Now we're going to do a trick, and we're going to put different spots on there, different uh, red dots and, blue and yellow dots. Look at the distance, the hind legs travel, and the front legs. You see that the hind legs really don't have that much reach as the front. So now suddenly what was like a 7 goes back to like a 5. And when we look at our second horse, it's even worse. The hind legs clearly have like half the stride length as the front legs, uh, partly because of the neck angle, and they should get like a four instead of the six that we gave it before. When we look at this horse, you see that's much more uh, comparable left of the front hand and the hind end, uh, and this should easily go into uh, like the eight again that we had before, showing that uh, you look at a lot of things to go to your mark. And when we look at this horse, a cocktail with empty fan grunt fan, you see there's perfectly, completely the same distance between front and hind legs. This is like the perfect 9 or even the 10. And she got that in the international. And look at this horse in slow motion, really showing that uphill, large stride, and those parallel lines. Especially showing slow motion, it's easier to watch that. Let's go to a couple of real life FBI horses in the Grand Prix. <laughs> Nicely forward, bigger stride clearly, and nicely uphill. And I would like to take a time line. That would be sad. So, in this horse, you can see a little bit more swoon in the whole motion, and then more swing in the front legs, still comes through from behind. And that's that one, by the way. Yeah. Come over there. This horse don't know. really sees an enormous reach in the front. Nicely comes through the perfect straight, really good. This horse is getting a tendency to get better and better. And look at this horse, this is really like an extended trot. Well, I should look like it. He's the kid to get it. This was Hanky's horse. They were only got nice. This is a horse in the world of the show. It's a Grand Prix horse. 
up, you can see it's striding, it's bigger, but it also speeds up a little bit too much, and it doesn't have that nice rhythm that we saw before. We look at this horse, and you can see the front end really stretches, the hind end doesn't grow, and it's also not straight, it's more flexed to the left, uh, and then when we see the transition back with the collected quad, it's again the drive. This horse is going to show again an extended quad, really covering ground, getting bigger, merged more stride length, and goes getting slower than faster. And We also have that in slow motion, and what you can see in slow motion, when you really look at the parallel lines between the hind end and the front end, it shows it perfectly is. It's such an extravagant move that when it goes to normal speed, it nearly looks like it's doing more in the front end than the hind end. But again, look back at the slow motion, and you can see it perfectly. This is Beauvais, that's from uh, this is a lot, and she got nice and tense in the motion. Really uphill balance. Look at that. It's just, just pure enjoyment. Really, really. That's what we all try to achieve in the extended trot. And it's nice to see a little bit of that video material on it. Get a better idea of what you really want to see. So when you go to a horse show, do your own training, and you look in the mirror, this is where we should go. And not just a fast running from one end to the other. I hope you enjoyed this little lecture. It's a lot of information. The good thing is you can watch it over and over again. It doesn't take that much time. Uh, and I hope to see you back soon for another course.